It wasn't as big as past years, but the Apple Butter Festival at the Camden County Museum in Lynn Creek is still a great way to celebrate fall in the Ozarks. There were only a couple of crafts booths outside, but all the goods on display were made by Missouri craftsmen and women. Tell me a little bit about that hat you got in your hand there. Well, this is called the Knight in Shining Armor Helmet. It is to look like a helmet with a little fringe in the back. And this covers your face so that you can keep your face warm. How long did it take you to crochet that? Uh, it's about two hours. You're pretty fast at crocheting, aren't well, you? Well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> what about some of these other hats here? I do the minion hats and the, the headbands. That's popular right now. Uh -huh. Mutant Ninja Turtle hats, and you cover their eyes, so they think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then we have the little newsboy hat, which is kind of a slouchy hat, which is kind of popular nowadays. It was a different story inside. The community room was filled with all kinds of crafts, from paintings to barbed wire wreaths to custom Christmas stockings made to hang on someone's fireplace mantle. There was plenty to see and buy at the Apple Butter Festival, including homemade apple pies and homemade apple butter. But there was something different this year. It used to be that you cooked the apples out in a big iron kettle. What happened to that? Well, we used to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and start doing that, and we just were getting too old to do it anymore. <laughs> Isn't there a little problem with the health department, too? And the health department. What do they yeah. say? Um, you had to have a cover over everything, and it was just too much work and too much, too much restrictions that you just couldn't meet. Well, I'm taking some apple butter home with me. Okay, you're going to like it. Bob Spicer, Lake TV.